Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. And Mary Ann. Behind the camera. You know what, sis? There were a couple of viewers. They said, where's Mary Ann been? We haven't heard from her. Well, here you are. Hi, here. She's right there helping out with the camera. And we've got some nice Christmas music on the hi-fi. And we're getting ready to make a batch of cookies that we'll share um, with friends and family when they come over during the holidays. These are uh, thumbprint cookies. Uh, I'm sure you've seen them. Um, they have a, they're basically a butter cookie uh, with a little well in the center that has some uh, kind of preserve or fruity goodness. So we're gonna make apricot thumbprint cookies. But first, we have to make the dough. So here's what we've got, Mayor. I've got uh, almost two cups of butter here. I've got one and three quarter stick. Okay? okay. So that's like uh, eight and six is what? 14 tablespoons of butter at room temperature. Unsalted, please. Then I've got uh, three quarters of a cup of sugar. All right? Okay. And then we're going to put in a little salt, a uh, quarter teaspoon. This is a really basic butter kind of cookie recipe. Oh, and vanilla. I'm going to put in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Um, could you do a cutout cookies instead of... Yeah, you could do pinwheels, you could do cutouts. You could take this in a lot of directions, which is nice. So this is just sort of... Think of this as sort of a kind of a foundational um, dough. Okay, that you can go in many different directions. So let's put this in. We're going to kind of cream this together, get it well combined. Uh, I'm using our stand mixer, of course, but you can get a shot in there, honey. You can see it kind of coming together. You could definitely use your hand mixer if you didn't have a stand mixer. That's okay. And you just want to kind of get this combined. It doesn't need to get creamy or fluffy, but you just do want it to get nice and combined. We're gonna, I'm going to do one scrape down. So, we're gearing up for the holidays. We had a nice dumping of snow here in Detroit yesterday. What was it, Mayor? I think about 10, 10 12 inches of snow yeah. we got yesterday. Okay. All right. So, I've got one large egg here, okay? So what I'm going to do is we're going to add the egg now to the dough. Just get that in. And again, it always when, you know, I know I've said this many times when baking, it really does help, and you want to get in there with the camera, to have your ingredients at room temperature. So let's get this egg incorporated here. Oh, you can smell the butter and vanilla, can't you, huh? Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay. Let's do, a, again, another little scrape. Now we're going to add the flour. And once we um, have this all kind of together, then we're going to refrigerate the dough for about an hour or so in the fridge. But let's get this flour mix in here. I'm going to put in about half. When you add flour, you want to start with a low speed. Or else you'll have a flour shower. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Very good. Now let me put in the rest of the flour here. Like that. Don't do, do what I said, not what I just did, right? Right. Okay. <clears throat> so take a look at this mirror. See how it's coming together into kind of a stiff dough? Oh, yes. So, again, we scrape. I guess they have a new um, paddle attachment for these mixers mm -hmm. that have a little scraping blade on it. I've, I've, I, get, I saw in the store, I've not, I haven't talked to anybody who's used one. If you do, if you have a scraper blade for your 
KitchenAid mixer. Let me know how it works, if it's a worthwhile investment or not. I just do it the old-fashioned way here with the spatula. Okay. You're doing pretty good here. Almost done. So I'm going to give this one more mix, Mayor, uh, and then we'll come back and show our friends the finished uh, product here. I just want to get it mixed one more time for good measure. Okay, back All in right. a minute. So here's what I've got. Um, so here's, look at the, here's the final product. Okay. It's our nice butter dough. I'm going to take some plastic wrap here. And I'm going to sort of line this bowl with it. Okay. Then let's see. scrape it out here. See, the reason you need to chill this is because the dough, frankly, right now is just too soft to work with. Because uh, the, the fat that we used was the butter. And we needed to have the butter at room temperature so that it would kind of combine with the sugar and the other stuff. But the butter now has made it too soft. so. What we want to do is we want to chill this for an hour at least. Um, you could have it chill for longer if you wanted, but an hour is good in the fridge. And then now I'm just going to kind of cover it. And then it'll be. Um, soft enough to really, or hard enough, firm enough to work with, okay? So, dough's done. Uh, we're gonna get our apricot preserves that will serve as our filling. And we also roll the cookies in some finely chopped almonds. Uh, you could also use walnuts if you wanted. I'll see what I've got in the pantry. And pecans you know, would be good too. Pecans would be excellent. Always a good suggestion there, sis. So we'll see what we've got lying around. And we'll okay, we've that. had the uh, dough in the fridge for, oh, it's been over an hour, hasn't it, Mayor? Yes, it has. Okay, so here we go. Um, I had walnuts. So you know what? We've got about a cup here of... Um, just finely chopped walnuts. Again, Mary, you suggested we could use pecans. We could also use almonds. Um, but you want them chopped chop fine like this. So here, because here's how we're going to do it now. Now the dough now is much stiffer. So I'm going to make a ball about like this. I don't know, what would you say that is, Mary? Um... A big gumball, maybe? Size? Yeah, one of those quarter size gumballs. Yeah. Then I'm going to just roll it in the nuts there, okay? Again, they won't all be the same size, but we'll, we'll kind of shoot for that. So we're just rolling, and, and then we're giving it a little nut bath here. So I'm going to try to get probably a dozen on each um, baking sheet. We've got the oven preheated to 350 degrees. So that's where you want to put it. Again, I'm just rolling in, in a ball and then, whoop, and then putting it on the cookie sheet. Now, how do we get the apricot in there? Once we get all these rolled, we'll go back and we'll put the indentation and we'll start filling, okay? Okay. So, let me get these rolled and we'll be back. I've got them all rolled here. And now I'm just going through 
Now I know they're called thumbprint, Mare, but I guess... Yeah, your thumb is big. Yeah, I, I can try my thumb on some of these, but my forefinger seems to be a better fit here on some of these. So it depends how big you roll the... Um, although it's e the thumb does go easier, faster. Depends how big you roll them, but what I've got here is about right, okay? So what we're going to do first is create our imprints. You can see it's really that that simple. Just going to go through, and they'll flatten out a little bit. Don't go all the way to the bottom. Just make yourself a nice... Can you get that, Mayor? See that nice little well? That's just really all you need. And these will expand a little bit as they bake, of course. Okay. There. All right. So now I'm going to get a little teaspoon. And we're going to take our apricot preserves and we're going to fill. Okay. It's hard to say how much that is. Somewhere around a half a teaspoon maybe. By if you actually used a measuring spoon. Now because in preserves there's a lot of sugar. This filling is going to melt. Sort of. You know what I mean? As, yeah. it, as it heats up. And then as the, the cookie cools, it will... Become thick again. Exactly. So it will sort of be transformed. And you can see it's just... Now, I love apricot. And it's sort of a traditional European flavor. But you could use any kind of preserves in this. Raspberry would be good. Blackberry. Um... Strawberry. Strawberry. Peach. A peach would be good. Um, if you wanted to use, um, you could even do some, you really wanted to be European, you could get some uh, plum or prune filling. I would like that. But anyways, so there you go. Now, again, we're going to um, put this in our oven which is at 350 degrees. These are going to bake somewhere between 15 and 18 minutes. We'll just keep an eye on them, okay? Uh, and I'm going to do two sheets at a time here, so we'll get these. I'll finish getting these filled, and then we'll come back and get them in the okay. oven. Okay. In the oven they go. Again, we've got them on parchment. And, uh, We'll check them in about 15 minutes, see how they're doing. Apricot thumbprint cookies for oh, starting to smell them, huh, Mary? They smell good. Okay, they have been in for 18 minutes. And we're gonna, yeah, you can see how the, I don't know if you can tell, it's getting close to that apricot filling. You'll see it's almost kind of bubbly a little bit. Yes. You see? Uh-huh. All right. So we're going to let these, and of course you can see how they've expanded. So we're just going to let these cool for about two minutes on the cookie sheet. Then what we'll do is we'll transfer them to a, the wire rack uh, for complete cooling. Um, and then uh, I'll do one more batch. So it looks like we're going to get about four dozen roughly out of this recipe. Um, and then... Uh, if I can refrain from eating too many of them, we'll put the rest of them uh, in storage uh, until uh, we have company for holidays. These cookies, though, I will tell you, when you stack them up, like if you put them in tins or storage containers, put a piece of wax paper or parchment paper between the layers. So they don't stick together? Exactly. Okay, because of the jelly. So anyways, we'll... Uh, We'll let these cool and we'll transfer them onto the rack and give them a try. You're getting around the, that's it, Mayor, yeah. the edge. So, see, here's the, can you get the bottom there? That's it. Yeah. 
how nice that is. Mm -hmm. Well, well, we have it off the. Might as well try might it. Might as well try it. Mm. The jam is still hot, but mm. the butter and the walnuts, it's really what, it's my kind of cookie right there, and then you have the little fruit. So, here, these are done, they're beautiful, and uh, they'll look great on a um, holiday cookie tray, won't they? Yes, they will. So... We'll uh, we'll get to making our next batch, and um, we'll be ready for our friends and family when they come over for the holidays and enjoy something sweet after a good meal. So you know what? We had a lot of fun making these cookies. Hope you had a great time being with us. Thanks, Mayor, for working the camera this time. You're welcome. And you know what? We'll see everybody next time right here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye, everybody. Bye.